Emergency crews are back at the scene of a house explosion in East Toronto, searching for a person who's still unaccounted for. CP24 Courtney Heels is standing by for us at the scene. She's got the latest. Courtney, what is happening with the investigation this morning? Mm -hmm. uh, well, Marcia, fire crews say that they will be bringing in some heavy equipment to start to dig through some of the rubble, some of the debris, and they also confirm this is considered body removal. They do not believe the person who was home at the time of the blast survived. Now, there's not much else to add to that in terms of exactly what unfolded, but this was a, a huge blast. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a live look at the scene. So this is a, a quiet residential street in Scarborough. You can see on the lawn there's a Toronto police officer as part of the investigation uh, surveying the scene a number of Toronto firefighters and the fire marshal's office is also here. So there will be a number of layers to this investigation, including what caused the blast. But the priority at this time will be the body removal. Again, they don't believe the person who was home survived this explosion. Uh, we've been here all morning. We've talked to a number of residents, people who live along this street, and they all told me the same thing. They actually felt this blast. They heard the blast. It broke out uh, just before the noon hour local time, and they didn't know what was going on. There was a, a sense of chaos along the street because residents were talking to each other saying what happened. They came down the street and they noticed the flames. In fact, the fire from the home spread to the, the nearby home as well. We're told the residents who live there weren't able to get back inside. So certainly a, a sense of, of chaos, but also uh, people are, are grieving. They're, they're quite upset to hear that one of their neighbors hasn't survived. And of course, they're also wondering exactly what unfolded. That will be the next part in this investigation, uh, Marcia. That's why the Ontario Fire Marshal's office is here. They'll have investigators at the scene too, combing through the rubble, the debris, gathering evidence and trying to figure out what sparked this explosion in the first place. Have they said how long the investigation would take when will we know what caused this blast mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. And they haven't said that right now. The priority is is the body removal. Even that they're not exactly saying how long it will take. They've just said that they're waiting on this equipment to get in uh, the actual location or really what I should say is left of the home there. They have to be careful to ensure that the uh, the debris, the the area is safe for their crews to go in when they start to, to dig through it. So that is going to be um, a precarious situation. They'll have to be very, very careful and then they'll shift into the actual investigation. And we know in some cases, Marcy, uh, when it comes to an investigation into the, the cause of a, an explosion or a fire, it can take weeks, maybe even months. So we'll just have to wait and see for that. Courtney, thank you for that update. Appreciate it this morning.